Well, one of the largest wildfires, the High Park in Colorado, was sparked by lightning. And when it comes to wildfires, Dr. Forbes, we often hear about dry lightning. So what is that exactly? Dry lightning comes from thunderstorms when rain doesn't reach the ground, it evaporates. And so as a consequence, the ground is still dry and that can cause a wildfire. Let me show you the difference though. This is an ordinary thunderstorm starting with pretty high humidity air flowing into the thunderstorm. The cloud bases then are low and so the rain will reach the ground, wet the ground and any lightning bolts then that come down probably don't have a very good chance of starting a wildfire. But what can happen is that that rain cooled air can come down, create gusty odd flows that if there's a fire in the vicinity that can wind up causing the fire to spread with those turbulent, gusty, erratic winds. By contrast, dry lightning comes from thunderstorms starting out with pretty low humidity. Very hot conditions though, you can get a thunderstorm to form, but high cloud bases. So there's plenty of room for the rain to evaporate before it gets to the ground, we call that virga. And with the rain not reaching the ground, the ground does not get wet. And as a consequence, the lightning bolts then that come down can easily start a fire. And once the fire starts, those hot flow winds then can cause the fire to spread out of control. So dry lightning has a double type problem for firefighters. And unfortunately, we're gonna see those conditions in the West for the remainder of the week and beyond. So tough conditions for firefighters. Lots of thunderstorms here and there still in the forecast. All right, and we'll continue to follow that developing story.